This video will demonstrate how to insert an error handler into a Silk Test Workbench visual test. To begin inserting the error handler, select the line that you believe may throw the error. Once you have selected the line, right click, go to Insert Error Handling. You will see that the error handler has now appeared on the screen below the line you originally selected. To the left of the screen, you will now also see the error handling dialog. You need to select action to take. There are six possibilities. The first one you are probably familiar with, this is the dialog box that comes up and asks if you wish to debug. The second one, end playback, will end playback of all tests within this suite. The third one, end test, will simply end just this test. The fourth one, retry step, will go back to the line that you believe may throw the error. Be very careful if you use retry step, because if the error line never goes true, you can end up locking the test into an endless loop. The fifth one, resume next, simply moves the test onto the line following the error handler. The sixth one, go to, enables you to specify a point in the test that you wish to jump to if an error occurs. This is called the label. What we need to do, first of all, is to actually insert a label at the point we wish to jump to. So we select the line, right click, and go to Insert Label. We give the label a name. Here we'll call it simply My Test Label. Go back to the error handler and on action to take go to we now should see our label. At this point if the test errors out it will jump from the error handler here down to here. In the case of this test it will exit but in the case of your test it may enable you to continue after an error has occurred. 